Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Unravel. I'm Coach Danny. Thank you all for being here this morning. Um, before we get started, want to remind you all that our annual open house is coming up. Um, so that'll be the beginning of February, but we want to hear from you all ahead of time. Um, so if you did not get the power of communication yesterday, or you maybe just skimmed it, um, I'm providing the open house survey link um, right here in the chat box. Um, if you wouldn't mind, we'd really appreciate take just a couple minutes to um, maybe give us some thoughts or some questions that you might have about your employee benefits um, that we can help better answer um, during our open house this year. It'll be virtual this year, um, so we definitely want you all to um, get your questions answered um, and so that survey will help us to help you so if you wouldn't mind take a few minutes to um, do that um, after class all right let's go ahead get started come on down to your mat and we are going to start seated uh, work on the neck a little bit so go ahead take um, take your right leg in front of your left and we're going to extend that right arm out. So think about pressing the palm of that right hand into the floor. And we're going to take your left ear to your left shoulder. So we're going to turn the away. Deep breath in through the rib cage, through the belly. And exhale. I want you to slowly turn that head down. Look at the left hip. And rotate up. And back down, rotate up. And when you're looking up, think about trying to get the back of your head to that shoulder, um, but be mindful not to try to bring that shoulder up. And turn down one more time. And last time, look up. And back to center, good. Real sweep both arms up, deep breath in, exhale, I want you to turn towards the right, drop that right arm behind you, that left hand's going to go to the right knee, exhale, and twist. And deep breath in. Sweep the arms up again, and exhale. We're going to drop this right fingertips to the floor and reach up and over with the left. You can bend that elbow to the floor. You want to be mindful, though. Keep the left hip on the ground. And back to center. Okay, let's switch sides. So we're going to take our left leg in front of our right, and we're going to extend the left arm out towards the floor. So think about pressing that palm towards the floor. We're going to take your right ear to your right shoulder. Let that head fall to the side. All right, go ahead and rotate that head down. You're going to look down at your right hip. Might feel that stretch moving around a little bit as you move your head and we'll rotate the head up. And back down. And rotate the head up. So again, thinking about getting the back of your head towards that shoulder. Being mindful to keep that shoulder down away from your ear. And rotate the head down one more time. And back up. Bring the head back to center. And we'll sweep both arms up, deep breath in. And exhale, we're going to rotate to the left, taking that right hand to your left knee. Left hand reaches behind you and twist on that exhale. Good. 
bring it back to center, deep breath in. And exhale, we're going to reach those left fingertips to the floor and reach up and over with the right. Feel free to bend that left elbow, um, but be sure to keep the right hip on the floor. You'll feel it once you um, start to lift up, um, but ground those hips to the floor and reach with that hand. You'll feel that stretch all through the right side of the body. And bring it back to center. Good. All right, take those heels out in front of you. So toes up, heels on the ground. We're going to let those knees fall over to the right side. So we're now in this shin box position. I want you to sit up really tall. Take those hands out in front of you. Deep breath in. Exhale, start to fold over that front leg. This is a, like a modified pigeon stretch. You're going to feel the stretch in the right hip, maybe the low back, and possibly the left hip flexor as well. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit, just allowing those hips to open up. Easy to want to resist this stretch um, because it might feel a little uncomfortable, um, but I encourage you to allow yourself to fall a little bit deeper into the stretch, relax with every exhale. Use that breath to your advantage. Um, think about taking those slow inhales, slow exhales. It's kind of a way to let your nervous system know that like, hey, we're doing okay. Um, so it'll allow your muscles to stretch a little bit further. Definitely use that breath. Go quick check in with the neck and shoulders. Think about just letting go, not resisting the stretch, allowing your chest to fall closer towards your shin. Slowly come on up. So I'm gonna rotate towards uh, towards you just so you can see me. But we're gonna keep um, those legs in that 90-90 position in that shin box position. So my right leg's in front, left leg is out to the side. I'm gonna take my right hand out and lean over. So you're gonna use that arm like a kickstand out to the side. Left hand's going to reach to that right hand. We're gonna sweep up. Deep breath in. Exhale, I want you to reach behind you as you exhale, getting a little torso rotation as well as some hip extension on the left side. Deep breath in. Feel free to go at your own pace here, um, matching that movement with your breath. The inhaling as you reach up. And exhaling as you reach behind you. With every reach, try to reach a little bit further um, while maintaining a straight a right arm. Now, you don't necessarily want to lock the elbow out, but um, you want to keep that arm fairly straight. And exhale. Try to get one more in, deep breath in, and exhale, reach behind you. Good, go 
I come on back to center. I'll take those feet back to center and we'll let the knees fall over to the left side this time. So now my left leg is in front and sitting up really tall up on my left hip. My right leg is out to the side. Um, excuse me, if this is bothering your hip, feel free to pull that knee up just a little bit closer to that left heel. Take those arms out in front of you, hands in front of you, deep breath in and exhale, start to walk your body forward while maintaining good posture, straight back. If you're not able to fold forward all the way, that's perfectly fine. Um, we're going to be here for a little bit, so um, just like last time, use that breath to your advantage. Allow it to help you relax, release tension in your hips, in your low back. Um, it'll allow you to fold forward, get a little bit closer towards the floor. Feeling this stretch in that left hip, maybe the low back as well. And as always, just do a quick check in with the neck and shoulders. Oftentimes, we don't realize that we're holding tension there, um, especially when we um, do lower body mobility. We we have a tendency to you know, clench the upper traps. And as you feel those hips expanding, try to reach a little bit closer, either out in front of you or come a little bit closer, uh, bring that chest closer towards your leg. A few more deep breaths in. Release tension. All right, go ahead. Come on up. And uh, again, I'm going to rotate um, just so you can see me, but you feel free to stay where you are. Um, my left leg's still in front, right leg's still out to the side. I'm going to take my left arm out, lean over, use that arm as a kickstand. My right hand's going to reach towards that left hand. Sweep up, deep breath in. And exhale, reach behind you. Feeling that stretch through your back, your shoulder blades, that right hip as well. And again, feel free to take this at your own pace. Reaching behind you. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Our uh, dog is still very reactive towards people coming to the door. If anyone has any tricks on that, let me know. about reaching behind you a little bit further each time you reach. Try to get one more in and exhale. Reach behind you a little bit further and relax. Um, hopefully you all can still see me. What happened here? Um, okay, let me know if you can't see me. We've got about one more minute of class. Last stretch. Um, go ahead, come onto your hands and knees. Come onto your belly. Why don't you take those hands underneath the floor and peel away from the floor. So just opening up the front side of the body. A little bit more as we spend so much time in that kind of anteriorly rounded position it's good to kind of just open up the front side of the body i like to move around in the upper facing dog position 
Press out those hips. Move those shoulders side to side. And feel the stretch in your hip flexors, your abdominal wall, maybe the chest and shoulders a bit too. All right, and relax. Send those hips back, round out the low back, and come on up. All right. That is all we have for Unravel today. Thank you all so much for joining. Um, don't forget um, the open house survey. Um, the link is provided in the chat box um, for you to take a few minutes to do that. Um, we'd really appreciate um, just you all sending in some questions that you might have about your employee benefits. All right. Have a great